the Arctic is experiencing faster melting. This were to go, sea level worldwide would go up 20 feet. This is what would happen in Florida. Around Shanghai, home to 40 million people. The area around Calcutta, 60 million. Here's Manhattan. The World Trade Center Memorial would be underwater. Hey, is Al Gore's Inconvenient Truth, we just saw a clip of, just a bunch of wasted energy, or is it a warning to the people of the world? Our next guest, Chris Horner, Christopher Horner, is the author of The Politically Incorrect Guide to Global Warming and Environmentalism. He joins us live in the studio. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. So you must be a scientist or something? Uh, no, I'm not. I don't rise to the level of Keanu Reeves or Alanis Morissette. He's done some pretty compelling work on the issue on the Pony Club Ice Core samples, but Selma Hank was pretty good. I think it's not a serious objection thanks to Al Gore taking that off the table. We wouldn't be subjected to him, any politician, you know, hundreds of celebrities can't be wrong, that argument. Right. But the scientific literature is to be written by scientists. It's intended right. to be read by interested lay people. And, and the basic overview of your book is... The basic overview, uh, climate changes, weather happens, always has, always will. Societies choose how to adapt to it. Do they create wealth and become richer, more technologically adept to deal with something that's always there, right. unpredictable and severe weather? Or do they do what Europe used to do and seems to be on the cusp of doing again now, which is look for witches to burn? Okay, fine. So you're, you think we're overreacting to something aside that where it's out of our control, that we are not responsible that if the Earth is in fact heating up? Well, let's say this. Ellen Goodman, a columnist, uh, just joined the parade of, of, of those who call people who deny climate change, that's what they call it, Holocaust deniers. Okay, now think about this. Um, you decide which is being trivialized. Uh, a few tenths of a degree increase over a hundred and something years, right. or 20 million people dead on the basis of their religion and sexual preferences. Obviously, they're the ones overreacting because it's very simple. We admit climate change, and that's what they deny. Mm -hmm. Climate changes. It always has, it always will. The Vikings used to farm Greenland, and if we get about two degrees south warmer, they may again. All right, Chris, uh, put on your answer man hat. H mm -hmm. Here's some questions, and you're going to answer them. Uh, folks at home, uh, true or false? The climate was stable until man came along. False. In fact, we know this is false because the this claim and a chart purporting to show a stable climate is called the hockey stick, and then mm -hmm. the spike upward. Um, was the was the smoking gun from the last UN report six years ago? The, the new one just came out that you heard distorted yeah, about ten right. days ago. It wasn't in there anywhere. No mention of it. It was airbrushed out. It was dropped because they airbrushed out the Little Ice Age, which we just left, and the medieval climate optimum or warming. So it's been debunked by the National Academy. The glaciers are melting. You saw Al Gore just talk about that. Yes, glaciers are melting all over the world. Glaciers are growing all over the world. The problem is... Well, which one is it? Exactly. Yes. Because, <laughs> and also, glaciers are receding by growing, which is in Al Gore's movie. When they grow too far... Grow is the key word. They break off. That's not melting, he shows. That's called calving. But what happens is they say that melting glaciers is proof of global warming. By that logic, for lack of a better word, receding glaciers is proof of global cooling. And they can't both be true. And, in fact, neither are. Well, you got to read the book. It is terrific. It is called The Politically Incorrect Guide to Global Warming and Environmentalism. Christopher Horner, thank you. We thank you very much for joining us live. My pleasure. Good a lot job. of people disagree, and you welcome the debate. Am I, I correct? Do. You have thousands of scientists disagree. Yeah. All right. Uh, come up long.